Our next stop is Shreveport, Louisiana. They've definitely gone up on the prices. I think we're going to pick up one of these cigar cuts. Almost every liquor store has daiquiri in the name. Only in Louisiana. It is a rainy day here in Shreveport, Louisiana, but we're bourbon hunting for breakfast. I got in last night, Sunday night, and most of these places closed early, so I wasn't able to actually get this filmed like I had hoped, but I did do some scouting. Now, I'm not extremely hopeful. This is a very weird town for whiskey. Most of the places I found online had like two or three bottles of bourbon in their, in their whiskey section based on the photos online, and most of these places sell daiquiris to go. Almost every liquor store here is something in daiquiris. So, guess I've never been bourbon hunting in Louisiana before. Don't know, like, this is a Apparently a Louisiana thing. We're gonna find out more about these daiquiris. Not a lot of places that are seem to be doing barrel picks or whatever. They're just a bunch of low-end liquor stores with two or three bourbons in their whiskey selection. So let's go check out a few that I found that look like they might be decent, and then we'll see where it takes us. Got some Maker's Mark store picks. Bunch of y'all are always asking about these Knob Creeks right here. I just have a bunch of these. I've been everywhere lately. Got a little YouTube channel where I just film bourbon hunting stuff. I'm always buying something different. Anything here in particular you think's good? 10 year, 10 you, cup. You like the 10 year, 10 cup? TX, got a couple of store picks there. I was looking at that cigar cut. I haven't tried that one. I haven't either. I've tried this one. Anything semi-local or something that's maybe regionally distributed that you really like? We're a sucker we for bottle and bonds. We always are. As far as clothing, we don't really have it. I've also heard good things about the Yeah, though I think I've got that exact bottle. I think we're going to pick up one of these cigar cuts right here. Been enjoying the Joseph Bagnus cigar blend. And this one sounds similar. Looks like it's got a pretty high proof on it as well. Maybe not as high as that. Magnus. Oh, the Brothers Bond. What's the difference? This one's just in the wrong place. Should buy that one. I've got that bottle at home, though. So typically when we're out looking at these, we're looking for something we don't have. Like, that's why y'all see a lot of these bottles. You're like, why didn't you buy that? Why didn't you? Like in the last video we put out, a lot of folks were talking about the K. Luke stuff, but I bought a ton of K. Luke when we came through Mississippi last time. You know, I've got a bunch of those. We're trying to focus on things that maybe we don't have or haven't tried. Although if I find something just exceptional, like Bowman small batches, you don't see those everywhere. I'm not a big fan of the port barrel, but the small batch is pretty good, but I've got it at home. So there's no sense in me buying that. So if you see me pass on something like this Knob Creek 12, just, just know I've probably got a bottle. But I still want y'all to let me know down in the comments because every once in a while, I like the K-Loop. First time we went through Mississippi, we didn't buy it because we didn't know what it was. Y'all pointed it out in the comments, turned out to be fantastic. We have the Still Austin cash strength right here at home, but I don't have their straight bourbon. Probably need to grab that one as well. We're looking to maybe do a barrel pick with Still Austin. We're having some conversations with them. I think the cash strength is what we would do though, but it doesn't hurt to have the regular release. See, that's why you always check the end caps. Me and Elijah Craig have a little bit of a checkered history here. Now this thing is $90 for a single barrel, barrel proof. There's just a flavor here. There's some sort of like, I have a hard time picking out exactly how to describe it to y'all, but I like Elijah Craig whiskey. But on the barrel proofs, it's a little strong. There's a little something there that I'm just not a huge fan of. This is a private barrel, so they might've picked one that has more or less of that. I don't really know, but we we open these. We have a lot of barrel proofs at the house, but then once I open them, like I just, I just never seem to go back and finish them. So I know y'all probably gonna give me a hard time. Y'all Elijah Craig lovers out they're probably gonna give me a hard time about that, but I think I'm gonna pass on it. Let's check out the Scotch selection over here and Irish whiskeys. Y'all tell me if there's anything I should have bought. Got some hiding up here. Widow Jane back there. Which Widow Jane is that? Ah, uh, never mind, it's $273. I don't know if I want any Widow Jane for that price. Mm -hmm. Penelope Rosé finish. Probably somebody wishing they had that bottle too, as much as y'all like Penelope. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we grabbed the Old Elk Cigar, and I got, grabbed a cast, or a uh, normal release still Austin. Yeah. Have you had that one? I like their cash strength. We've been talking to them about doing a barrel pick. We're actually headed to Austin right now. We were hoping to do it this next week, but it didn't work out. I've tried the cash strength. I haven't had their regular release stuff yet. So I figured it's worth a try. Hey, the YouTube channel is Bruzel. B-R-E-W-Z-L-E. If I write it down, I won't be able to read it. Almost every liquor store has daiquiri in the name. What's the deal with the daiquiri machines around here? That's not a normal thing everywhere else. When I moved here three years ago, I thought the same thing. Same thing over containers. Like when we sell it, have to put tape 
Open okay, so it's like you're buying a growler at a yeah. beer place. They have to tape it up. So it's only in Louisiana, right? All right. Well, I appreciate it. So this this Old Elk Cigar Blend. We're actually going to try this on the live stream on Monday. So whatever day this comes out, the following Monday, we'll have a live stream where I'm going to pop this sucker open and give it a try. And it is a blend of high malt straight whiskeys, which, you know, I'm not a huge fan of high malt whiskeys, but it's sherry cast finish for an additional 1.5 years or Monac for 1.25 years port for three to eight months and cognac finish for three to six months so they're they're blended and it's released at like a hundred and something proof i don't know 101 proof I, I can't read they make that really really small and the writing is doesn't contrast real well with the label so it's you know kind of high proof blended finished whiskeys i like the joseph Magnus cigar blend a lot so that's what got me to buy this one and then the still austin i'm really excited about just because i love their cash straight stuff so on to the next liquor store. Now, if you've been watching our bourbon hunting videos, you know I don't always make the right decisions. Sometimes I pass on bottles I should buy. Thankfully, I usually point those out and we can go back and get them later. And sometimes we just buy hot garbage because it looks nice or it says bottled in bond on the label. And that's why I'm glad I found Whiskey Raiders. WhiskeyRaiders.com is the largest and most accurate whiskey review site on the internet. It's kind of like Rotten Tomatoes, but for whiskey. It takes all the reviews across the website and gives each bottle a unique score so that I know whether or not I should buy it. And they already have over 2,000 reviews on their website, a lot of bottles I've never even heard of, and they're adding more each and every day. Plus, the Raiders just launched their own Bottle of the Month Club. Each month, subscribers get a new bottle that is rated 90 or higher on on the Whiskey Raiders website, which means you're not only getting a new bottle that perhaps you haven't tried, but you're definitely getting a bottle that the critics love across the board. You could get a one month, three month, or six month subscription. And right now, Whiskey Raiders is offering the B team a discount on your subscription costs. Link as always is in the description, but space is limited, so don't take too long if you're interested. Let's get back to the video. I chose the last place discounts because it was a chain and there are five or six of them around here. Half the liquor stores in Shreveport seem to be of that chain and I picked the one without a number which I assumed was number one and their flagship store and it had a better selection than I anticipated so we're already way above expectations this next one Tony's I chose because they had some allocated stuff listed in the photos on Google they did have them marked up a little too high like the prices were readily visible in those photos they were above above secondary price on those bottles but not ludicrously priced so I figure it's worth trying, seeing if we can't find something, and, and maybe if they've got it, see if we can't do a little negotiating. Sir, how hey, how's it going? Hey, we're doing well. Got an old scout barrel pick here. I've had some really good old scouts. Oh, that one's five-year-old MGP, but still, we've we've had some really nice old scout barrel picks. There's the allocated stuff right there. They've definitely gone up on the prices since the Facebook page was up, or the Google listing was updated. We got these marked up to a secondary prices plus, don't we? What's our negotiation room on any of those? And it just kind of varies. Okay. You know, if you buy other things, there's more negotiation room. Oh, right, yeah, I was looking at this. I may have to grab this one. We've had, have you tried this Old Scout? Yeah, it's very good. You know, the MGP whiskey, but we've had some really nice barrel proof Old Scouts. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's really a good one. I thought they did a good job with that. And then we also have a Jack Daniels, a single barrel. I saw that. Like What's the uh, proof on that one? This is not the barrel strength. No, this is like no, the 94 no. proof. That's 94, yeah. Uh, there's just another H. Derringer right there. If you buy that one, be wary of this cork. It's very dry. Make sure you moisten the cork before you stick it in the bottle. We broke we broke our cork. We did get millions of views on it, but we broke our cork. Anything back here in particular you think's really good? $38 Johnny Drum. That seems like a really solid price for uh, that. Every state has their distribution challenges. Oh, yeah. Louisiana, I find more unique than other places. Number one, we don't get a whole lot because of the size of the state. Number two, so much of the population is I-10 corridor. Mm. Some of the things we don't get a lot. We don't have a local warehouse anymore. Everything comes out of Lafayette and New Orleans. Makes it a little harder to get it the good stuff. The bakers came back pretty good. I'm happy to get some of that. That's a good bottle. When they changed the bottles, I bought a bunch of the old bottles yeah. before they were single barrels. And so I just haven't drank through all of those yet. Yeah. I probably need to grab one of those at some point to try yeah. it versus the old bottle. Some Buffalo Trace there. For a long time, we were just not receiving a whole lot of them. But that's come back around a little bit, thank goodness. Four Roses products, 
got a little spotty for a while for us, but they came back. Actually, we had the small batch select. We just don't have it out on the shelf yet. I enjoyed the single barrel. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Tried to do a little bourbon hunting in Alabama not long ago. I was, I was a little surprised at the, the pricing. Did you go to the ABC stores, the Alabama stores? Yeah, are they all Alabama stores? Well, they're Alabama ABC. ABC stores are state run every right, one of them yeah. the problem is if you're at an abc store you know the state sets the price yeah and if you're not at an abc store those stores are almost buying it for the same price you are at abc like yeah. they barely get yeah. a discount yeah. that's what exactly happened i went in one state store and the second store i went in was yeah. not yet they're so buying it from the state store kind of fight the same thing we have to fight is get the product have it in your store Mark's down one of their fusion series at the abc store that i really like yeah, those are pretty good. I've got so much Bardstown I haven't even opened. What we're typically looking for is someone, a small distillery that is doing something really good. They're using full 53, 55 gallon barrels, not cutting any corners. So if it's if it's oak chip, they're putting staves in it. If they're using small barrels, we're probably not going to like that whiskey. Yeah, that's probably the one if you were gonna try something from and this is $70? I get the craft whiskey has to be more expensive. Like, it's just tough for a small person to put it out. But that is a tough price point for somebody that's just trying it. Check out this Irish whiskey and scotch selection here. Let me know if there was any of those I should have bought. All right, I think we're gonna grab this old Scout store pick here. Trying to find a price that works for some of these super hard to find bottles, but like I want them, but I, I just, is there even a reason in making an offer I know is not going to be accepted? This will serve you well on your trip. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, man. Y'all take it easy. So I remembered a box here, and y'all talked about my little carrier and how you just ask for a freaking box. and. You know, boxes don't always fit all sorts of bottles, although they did give me a wine box, which probably less than optimal on this. But the problem is, is I'm buying two bottles over here and two bottles over there and a bottle here and a bottle there. And I just never remember to get the freaking box because none of the stores do I actually buy enough bottles to need a box from that one store, at least very rarely. And so I just forget, I get in the truck and I was like, dang it, I needed a box. Y'all always ruining my dreams with your simple solutions. Dad gummit, I hate your logic. Quit bringing logic into this. But we've had more luck than I thought we'd have so far. Store pick, Old Elk Cigar Blend. We've bought four bottles so far in two stops. So let's head on to the next one. Our next stop is Cuban Liquor and Wine. Now it looked like they sold a lot of wine. So it looks like they were catering to a higher end clientele, which means Maybe they've got some higher end bourbon, I don't know. I really wanted to jump on some of those allocated things at the last place, but man, those prices are just <sighs> more than I can bear. Like they, they can just hold on to those. Look like they've been holding on to them for a while. So I don't think there's a lot of people paying those prices. Before we jump in here to Cubans, y'all really been liking these bourbon hunting videos. So continue to let me know what bottles I should have bought down in the comments. Let me know how we could make these better for y'all. Should we focus more on the bottles? I'm not real happy the quality of the camera. This makes it really easy for me, this little bitty camera, but a lot of the bottle shots are kind of blurry as you're panning through and stuff. Give me some feedback on how we can improve these videos and what other types of videos you might want to see. We do the Derby. We went to Talladega. None of those do as well as if I just go hit up a couple of liquor stores. We thought those would be bigger videos, but apparently y'all just want to see folks in liquor stores. Old up straight wheat. That's right, rye barrel pick. Any bourbons over here particularly interesting that I should try, you think? The low gap, and we got the Sazerac sort pick on the bottom fill. Okay. The benchmarks. Are you into bourbon? A little bit. A little bit? What's your favorite? I like the benchmarks on the bottom fill. I spent a lot of money on bourbon. <laughs> Understand. What is this? Bywater straight bourbon? Broken barrel reserve oak. Finished in pork stave. Age two years with that color. All right, so everybody keeps telling me that the four gate I want is the Kelvin collab, and that says split stave by Kelvin. Is that is that the one? I, like I gotta I gotta Google this now. Apparently this one's a rye. This is not the Kelvin collab that everybody says I need to buy. So that sucks a little bit. But I found something. There are some four gates up there though. Bourbon down under and Saint Charente. Have you tried that Sazerac pick yet? Compared to a normal Sazerac rye, like how does it vary? Is it more rye forward? Is it less rye? Do you know? <laughs> That's fair enough. 
So I've heard this name before, but I can't tell if it was somebody telling me to get it or to not get it. And it says it's blended about, that's the problem with all the recommendations I get is I can't remember good ones from bad ones. How do you do your allocator stuff? Over the stand of a okay. So you just you just drop it in and folks show up and get one bottle at a time. Is that how it works? Just, just buy one bottle and that's okay. it. I'm on YouTube. Yes, that's me right there. <laughs> All right, appreciate it. Yes, sir. Right, Thank you. Day. All right, uh, so we got a little prideful goat there. They had a great selection. I guarantee you, there's some bottles there I should have bought that I passed on. Y'all Y'all let me know which ones they were. And I keep wanting to buy those four gates. $200 is just a lot of money for a bottle of whiskey when you don't know. Y'all let me know what you think about those, what bottles I missed. Let me know how we can continue to improve these. I think that's the end of our Shreveport, Louisiana bourbon hunt. Every other liquor store I looked at on Google when they posted photos had like three bottles of bourbon. So I think that's it. I'm gonna head on to Austin, Texas. Hopefully I have a little time while I'm there for work to do a little bourbon hunting. We'll see y'all in that one.